Hey friends and welcome back to this Fretted Friday. And in today's episode, I ask, is Ola England wrong? Did he get it wrong when it comes to the pocket pod coming right up? Yeah, so a few weeks ago, possibly a month or so ago, I did a review on this 20 year old Line 6 Pod 2. And I did a couple of follow ons as well because you've really been enjoying it. And it got me to thinking that I really need a portable rig. And so this is the third unit of the Line 6 Pocket Pod that I've had that I've bought from eBay second hand. The first two had to go back because they both had issues with them. Although I beat Ola to it with the original pod, last week he put up a video about the pocket pod and was it any good for metal? Well, today I'm trying out this. Can you see it? It's over there. It's very small. It's the Line 6 pocket pod. And I think that's where the key comes because he was looking at it as just a metal device. It's not good. And I have to say, I agree with him on the fact that this really does not have all the metal tones that you probably would like. But when it comes to straight out rock, which is the kind of thing that I like to play using this lovely Harley Benton single cut, this little unit, as far as I'm concerned, has got what it takes. I really, really like it. I'm not gonna demo the unit per se today, but what I would like to do is show you that everything is good in context or has got its use in context, I should say. Not necessarily good. I'll leave you to be the judge of whether or not this little unit is good. It's not good. And whether or not you're happy for me to use it on future guitar demos, because it will level the playing field for all the guitars that I demo. What's more, I've really enjoyed making a little USB adapter power supply for this so it can be supplied from a brick, from a power bank brick. And that is amazing because I have played a whole three days worth of songwriting using just one power bank brick, which I'm also going to show you because what I've done with this in this first video is I've used this lovely Harley Benton plus one of the Milton guitars and I've been writing a tune recently. Now you will have to forgive the fact that I sing on this. It's not good. Because I do not have the best voice in the world. However, <clears throat> it's a great little demonstration of just how good this little unit can sound in a mix. And at the end of the piece, that's what's really important, I guess. Plus the fact I've been really enjoying all of the different tones on this, uh, just to noodle about with, with headphones on. And it's great because you can clip this to the side of your belt and you can put the power bank in your pocket if you're brave enough. And you can just walk around. And I've been using a little wireless guitar unit with it as well. So literally everything fits on my belt. I put the guitar over my shoulder on the strap and I can walk about with the headphones on and play to my heart's content. In fact, I could easily go for a couple of hours walk playing the guitar. How about that for versatility? Anyway, I've really, really enjoyed this. I will be back to do more demos on this unit and the sounds that are in it in future videos if you want me to. But for the time being, let's go and have a listen to the track that I've written and that I've recorded using just this for the guitars and bass. Maybe there's something is much better I Never said or in a letter Made for you That I said to you Backstreet Aristotle Meant for you I am meant for you Everybody looking down Knows it's way good Being a friend with you and I We learned to fly On the wings of a dream That will never die Don't wanna be up 
all I do Find a reason to be contented Cause you got me half demented Over you Never over you agree that this little thing in the mix sounds pretty fine and I really like that tone. It's got that kind of plexi tone that I love to play with this guitar and this guitar will be coming up this live streaming Sunday because it's well overdue and this is possibly my favourite Harley Benton single cut but more about that on Sunday. For the time being I really hope you've enjoyed the little song demo that I've done using only this little pocket pod. And let me know in the comments down below, as always, what you think of it and whether you'd like me to do more reviews on this and show you some of the other tones that are in it. As always, please give a like and a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video or if you haven't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. It definitely can't hurt to subscribe and if you do, don't forget to click that bell icon and make sure you've got notifications enabled on your account and then you won't miss any future videos from me. Thanks a lot for hanging around with me today. Really hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. But in the meantime, take good care. I can't